apologies for switching up on you last minute. My place has just been a mess lately. I haven't had time to clean this shit everywhere. You've seen one bachelor pad, you've seen them all. Besides, you're like family. You don't have to explain anything to me. That's nice. I just haven't had much time to clean with everything going on. Oh, shit. That's right. What's, what's going on? How's, that, how's everything going? I mean, everything working out fine now. Much better. Okay. I'm just trying to keep busy. Mm. So what's been going on with you? I haven't talked to you in a while. Huh. I read about you in the paper, though. Hey. The New York Times. Oh, that trash. Pure fucking lies. That paper is better suited to line somebody's litter box, honey. Clayton worked for them, right? Yeah. And that's when I should have known that it was pure trash, just like him. Wait. Did I miss something? Did y'all break up? Are you okay? I'm fine, Rob. You remember that day you came by the office and you showed me the pictures in your phone? I was scrolling through the archives and I seen a picture of Winston and Clayton. I remember that day. You had a strange look on your face. Mm -hmm. But you ain't say nothing. That's because I tried to get Clayton to come clean about it. I mean, I took every roundabout way for him to admit to knowing Winston. I mean, he's, he was so good that he made me feel like I was overreacting. Wait, don't tell me homeboy was working up a story on you. I could have almost accepted that, but it's actually worse. Could you believe that Winston hired him to be with me? Like I'm some type of fucking charity case? I never really liked Winston. He's a dirtbag just like Jabron. Wait, really? You don't like Winston? Yes, he always rubbed me the wrong way. I wish you would have told me this because Winston's loyalty will forever be in question. So, wait, so how do you find this out? Well, I was talking to Clayton and his nobility kicked in and he wanted to tell me the truth about everything. He didn't just coincidentally show up on my doorstep. Look, um, I wanted to run something by you uh, to ask you a question. Of course. What's your bad outfit? Where are you coming from anyway? I had the driver um, taking me around town. Just looking for some office space. In an office space? Office space for what? Well, I'm thinking about opening up an agency here in East Coast. I think it's probably just about time I get back to work. Honey, I told you. I told you numerous times. You don't need to work. I'll give you all the money you need. Victor, it's not about the money. I'm here day after day. I'm bored. I miss discovering talent. Even though Easton is in a Milan or New York. But I'm sure I could find a diamond in the rough here and polish it up. Sounds like a fluff job to me. I thought you would want something more satisfying. Seriously? I'm for real. You know, I built a mini empire from the ground up. The same empire that Fallon took from me. But you know what? That's the past. I'm turning a new leaf. And I want to prove to her and everyone who've ever doubted me that I will rise back to the car, even in sleepy towns. All right. This is what we're going to do then. Tomorrow you're going to show me those offices and we're going to take it from there. Wait. Are you for real? Of course. I'm your husband. All I want to do is make you happy. Ah, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you, baby. You just don't know how much you just made my day. Well, I hope I can make your day every day. Oh, wow. Thank you, Lord. God, the time is, the timing is perfect. I never thought that I would be able to recover since that affair with Claire. Actually, why are you bringing those memories up? Look, you're with me now. I'll treat you so much better than that asshole ever could. I know you will. And I'm ever grateful for that. But you know, now that we're married, I think it's time that I let you in on a little secret. Wait a minute. What is it I already don't know? You don't have another kid, do you? I 
that comparison. I wish I did, but um, back back when I was modeling, I got on. I got addicted to prescription drugs. It was really, really bad. No one knows about this picture. I promise them that you would not tell I anybody. Look, your secrets are always safe with me. Trust me. God, I just don't know. For the shows, I would... For the shows, I would lock myself away for days. No one could find me. I was, I was in eating. I was hurt. No, I almost, I was near death. It's just so hard talking about this. But um, my manager found me. She, she forced me to go to rehab. I'm shaking. So she forced. Let me just get this out. She forced me to go to rehab. It's, it's, it's been a long, hard road, but I'm clean now. I'm clean now. And I, I... Look, that's all that matters. You're clean now. That's all I care about. But you don't understand that that addiction. I have scars behind that addiction. I've been diagnosed with bi I have a bipolar disorder because of that. <laughs> Between Winston and Clayton, I feel like such a damn fool. So you can't beat yourself up over this. It's not your fault you had snakes on your team. <laughs> That's not even the worst of it. Winston and Ashton was fucking behind my back. I didn't think it would go that far. What you mean? You knew about Winston and Ashton? Well, a few months ago, Ashton oh was going around God. town saying that Winston was stalking him. So when I approached Winston, he tried to play me. So I threatened to come to you with the information, but he didn't fall back. Why would you take up for Ashton, given our history? Well, Ashton is Derek's best friend. And he looked out for helping us get back together. I really don't care, Rob. I mean, the moment that you found out there was something going between Ashton and, and Winston, you should have came back and told me. At the end of the day, I just need to know that I can trust you. Yes, you can trust me, Fallon. Can I? Because right now, I'm not feeling like I can trust anybody. You All can. over again. Listen, I owe you big time. You took a chance out on me when no one else would. I just thought that knowing you and Winston's long history that he would come to you instead of me. Winston. And I never thought that he would pick Ashton over you. <laughs> Winston was my rock. It's, it's, it's crazy to me that I'm going through this right now. But I don't care at this point if Winston was able to move heaven and earth just so I could live. He's dead to me. Good. I just really need to know that I can trust you. I mean, that's like severe. I need to know this. Yes, I have your back. Okay, good. Because now that I'm back, a couple people are going to have hell to pay. So who's first on your list? Well, Raven. I need to see who put her up to the bullshit that she was put up to. She's making these crazy accusations. Wait, so what did she say? Well, she claims she's my long lost daughter. Can you believe that shit? Fucking joke. So you don't think there's no truth behind it? I mean, we don't know who she is. So why would she just make something up like that? Because she's raving. She's been lying about everything since she's been here. I don't believe anything she says. I'm sorry. Okay. So I need to get to the bottom of who the hell put her up to it, though. So who's next after that? Oh, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> but nobody will be spared. And I'm saving my family for last. So I'll be in touch, okay? All right. Good to see you. Okay. Don't you need medicine today? I take medicine. I take medicine every day, and I'll have to take it for the rest of my life. So that's what you were taking the other morning. You saw me? Yeah, I just assumed you were taking an aspirin. 
Yeah, that was well. Yeah, that 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 was it. That was it. But um, just grateful, just grateful. I haven't, I haven't um, I haven't had an episode in over a year. All right, look. So I think that's so why I am. Listen, any promise, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, look, you're in a better space now. Why don't you think of um, bringing JJ back to live with us? Um, yeah, I think it's about time. And I really, really, I really miss my baby. I really miss him. Well, I'm sure he misses his mommy too. Why don't you do this? Why don't you go upstairs and call him? I'm gonna get my, let me just get my emotions, my mind together, you know? I'm gonna run upstairs and just get everything together. I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. Kiko on her fix my life sabbatical and all of her crazy clients coming in there and like just demanding with a nasty attitude because Kiko neglected to tell them that she was going on a little vacation. It's just too much going on there. I just figured it'd be better if we meet here. It's just tell them to go somewhere else or tell them to come back. Don't let them get under your skin. It's not your fault she didn't tell them. I wish it was that easy, but. They're loyal customers, and Brandon's already trying to squeeze them into his already tight schedule, and... She's never there. I mean, stop. Stop. He's getting a lot better now. And besides, I'm about to have my friend Tasha come through and just work a couple extra hours, and... I mean, she's a better hairstylist than Brandon and Kiko. Are you sure about that? Didn't Kiko leave you explicit instructions not to let anyone use her chair? You listen, want that battle? Listen. What Kiko don't know won't hurt her. And besides, I don't want to talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess who I met up with today? Who? Eve. Well, that's great. Yeah, you know, I'm trying this whole different approach and I forget for everything. I just want to move forward and just be more positive thinking and just happy thoughts. I I'm so excited to hear about this. I mean, I actually like her. She's not a bad person. Despite, I never said that she was bad. Details. I said that she was stubborn. It's a difference. Yeah, much like yourself. I'm very lenient when it calls for it. Okay. Name one time I didn't budge. I can name one. I can name actually two situations, but we're beyond that. Uh, excuse me. 
You could be the same exact way, but you're young. I get it. Are you trying to flip this around me? Don't do that. Um, don't you like when I flip you around? Not as much as you like when I flip you around. Yeah, whatever. So. Uh, <laughs> so, how was your garlic sandwich? It actually was really good, surprisingly. I mean, I kind of want to take some home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's very surprising more than that is that the fact you've never had salmon. I mean, I just haven't gotten around to eating it growing up. And I mean, I mean, I was raised off of crap macaroni and cheese, and the closest thing I've ever had to salmon was fish nuggets. So I definitely was missing out on all this stuff. But um, thanks for the suggestion. Absolutely. You know, since you're so unfamiliar with salmon, I think I should cook you my special recipe sometime. Wait, so you mean to tell me you know how to cook? Boy, cook. <laughs> I am a chef. Anything from eggs benedict to strict Cuban chicken, I'm your man. Wait, Cuban, wait. You make chicken sound so worldly. Well, I try to absorb as much culture as I can when I travel. Wait, so besides Cuba, where else are you? Ah, well, I'm not one to brag, uh, but I've been to Istanbul, Turkey, hmm, some other places, but I will stop right there. You know, working with Fallon really afforded me to go some places that most people only dream of. Oh, well, speaking of those diving people, um, how was your trip to Savannah? Well, I tried. Fallon was not trying to hear it. So, taking into account the person I know she is, I don't think her, she's going to be coming around anytime soon. Okay, so what are you going to do for work? I actually have a friend who works at the Chilean Embassy in Philadelphia. So I was considering just reaching out to him, seeing what he has. Wait, hold on. So I'm assuming that you know how to speak Spanish. See, I fly Espanol. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever shared it with you, but I speak a few languages. Another one of them being Mandarin Chinese. Wow, you're full of surprises. <laughs> I am. I really like you. What do you say that we take these drinks somewhere else after this? Sure. Sounds good. And then after that, well, after what? I get you back to my place. <laughs> <laughs> We need a vacation. I do need a vacation, but I need a drink too. God. It's been a long day. And wait, vacation this drink is well fucking needed right now. Where are you trying to go? Oh, I thought of the perfect place too. Oh god, here we go. Let's go to fucking New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. Wouldn't that wait, be fun? Of all places, why couldn't you say somewhere with blue water and white sand? Like more romantic. New Orleans? Well, New Orleans can be romantic. And besides, we can party our fucking asses off. On Bourbon Street? I don't know about New Orleans. Well, I hope Mardi Gras is there when we get there. And I'm assuming you. Can we please go. go somewhere else? I don't want to go to New Orleans. Think about it. We go there, stress is gone. You just said you wanted another drink. You just need a break, and hopefully Mardi Gras is going on there. I'm just, I'm just about to check the Mardi dance. Gras is loud, the people are loud, they're drunk in the street, titties flashing. No, I don't want to go. That doesn't sound like fun to you? No, that's not fun. 
Sounds like a lot of fun. Can you just agree to do this? And then you know what? The next time we take a trip, I'll let you decide. Deal. Yeah. Under one condition. What? You're paying for this trip. How about I get the tickets, you get the hotel? Wait a minute. You know what? The tickets will be kind of expensive. Yeah, so? Where do you get money from? I get paid. And Vicky takes care of me. Is it legit? I do not want to get to the plane and be salty. You don't have to worry about a thing. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. I'm covering my bases, babe. All right? We're good. Let's just let this... This week just be about us and our trip. I guess I'll start looking for hotels. <laughs> I'm already I'm already on it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get this right back to you. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> so what did you have in mind for the trip? Something romantic. Something similar, <laughs> something maybe a little bit new. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was declined. Uh, okay. Must have been some error with the machine or something like that. I'm just trying a different card. Uh, all right, let's try that. It should be fine. Thank you. No problem. Is something wrong? No, I mean, it's strange my card never declines because it does not have a limit. Right. But maybe the machine would down. I don't know. I'm really sorry. This one was declined too. Okay, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's, I don't know what that's about. Wait, just wait a second. You know, maybe if I call, unless it's okay. No, no, no. I got me. Because there's, there's something wrong. Okay, just put the number in. Like I said, maybe it's something wrong with the machine. It's fine. Trust me. Like, there's more than enough here. I'm sure of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's wrong? She cut my card off. Fallon? Yes. <laughs> I told you it would only be a matter of time before she comes up with those dirty schemes of hers. It's okay, like I said, I got it. Baby. You might excuse me just for a second. Let me clear my mind. Make sure everything's fine. Be right back. Go ahead. Oh. Hello, sir. May I address you? Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? I've been bad. I need you to punish me. Did you follow me here? No, sir. Okay, back up. Yes, sir. And stop saying that. Why, sir? I need discipline. Pain? I bet this, this is not the time, nor the fucking place. We are in a public bathroom. Are you crazy? Pain, get up. Get up! Yes, sir. I need to be punished for making you mad. Listen, I am not your fucking master. Do I make myself clear? You know I like it rough, sir. Squeeze it tighter. You're fucking sick. You know I like it rough, sir. Listen, if you ever come near me again, that will be your fucking death wish. Do I make myself clear? What took you so long? They only have one stall worth. All right, let's go. Wait, baby. How do you feel about just skipping drinks all together. What's wrong now? Nothing. Look, it's about your party. It has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. 
there's some things I need to handle, let me get them done, and mm -hmm. we can help. All right. Hello, Eve DeLuca. I was just calling your phone. Oh, I bet oh, you were. Best friend. We're not best friends. Let's not get ahead of Anyways, ourselves. Anyways, listen. I'm so glad that you agreed to come in with me. Thank, so, thank you, my love. And now that you're here, I was hoping that we could let, you know, we could let back on to back on. So we, we can do our friendship. And we just act like nothing ever happened. So do you miss me? I know you do. Mm. Maybe a little bit. I was just about to... May I help you? Oh, Ashley. Oh. Chill out. Did you miss me? Clint, get the fuck out. Hey. I thought you'd be happy to see me, baby. Is that any way to treat the man that you used to love, baby? <laughs> Which was the biggest mistake of my life. Look what the hell do you want? Damn, Ashton. Can I get a hug? You used to like to be close to me, Ashton. All right, you come close to me and then... You what? Hmm? We both know you're not the violent type, Ashton. So you're what? After all this shit you put me through, there's no telling what I'm capable of. So try me. This place sure hasn't changed that much. I mean, I used to come over here and you'd be butt naked, tooted up, just waiting on daddy. Right, I remember too, and I was that stupid ass hoe getting the community dick from you while you was fucking <laughs> any and everything besides your fucking wife, you faggot. You know, Ashton, I used to love that sassy ass mouth of yours. Especially when it's wrapped around my dick. The way you used to mount up and drain a nut out of my dick, baby. Shut the fuck up! That's it? Here. Yeah. See, if I could use some company with all this negative energy, I would have maybe was the wrong idea to invite you here. Why don't you calm down? I was only joking. And if anything, I'm just disappointed in you. Disappointed. Yes, disappointed. Like, what the hell made you marry that fucking moron? I'm not bothering this one. What do you mean? That's my husband. husband? And how did you know that we got married? How do you think I know? Jesus told me. Jesus. Well, the night that I came to your house, I was coming to tell you before you sat out on me. Can you blame me? What do you mean, can I blame you? Eve. Eve. It is not that serious. You're right, it's not that serious. And at the point that I'm at in my life right now, I can't believe I'm getting ready to say this, but I'm actually going to lay off your pathetic husband. I'm going to call it a stalemate. Calm down, baby. Well, aren't you going to ask me how I'm doing, how I've been? Clint, I don't give a fuck how you've been. And I'm actually pretty sure nobody cares. Oh, you care, Ashton. You care. I remember the last time we saw each other, baby. I was laying drowning in a pool of my own blood. And I remember you standing over my body, begging and praying and pleading for me to wake up. I remember. Which was the biggest mistake of my life. Look, why don't you go dark and file his doorstep. I mean, technically she's still your wife, so go make her life a living hell. I don't want you anymore. Is that right? <sighs> See, once upon a time, Ashton, I was your lifeline. You don't miss me. <laughs> no. 
And I don't care if I was your lifeline at one point. I mean, big deal. And that's in the past. Look, ever since you've been gone, I've moved on. And I'm way better through all of this now. Hmm. So you changed, huh? You got my little passion more. Stop. <laughs> so those little punk has 30 days got you feeling like you're a man now. Huh? Ashton? Look, you keep talking and you're gonna get exactly what you deserve. Ashton, you have no common sense. And I doubt that will ever happen, baby. You teamed up with my wife. You teamed up with Fallon. And together y'all couldn't take me down. Rob, her brother. Who's left, huh? Oh! Winston. Do you really think Winston can stop me, Ashton? I don't know about Winston. Maybe you should go and ask him. Hmm. That's kind of why I'm here. So how about this? I'll just sit here and wait until he gets here. And we'll find out then. How? Um, how? How do, you, how do you even know about that? <sighs> don't worry about how. Does Fallon know? Yes! Really? No, I bet that shit didn't go over too well, huh? Because I know better than anybody she doesn't fuck around when it comes to betrayal. I bet you pulled out all your little kinky ass tricks too, but it came to Winston, huh? Look, me and Winston are together now, and if you do anything to me, he's gonna literally kill you. And with me out the picture, I bet that it'd be pretty easy for him to slut you out. <laughs> Not today. So what? What's wrong? You jealous now? Jealous? Jealous of that little puny faggot minion. Jealous. Baby, please. And I know he's Narcissistic sociopath. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What does you have to do with me and Winston? You're lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Hmm. <laughs> Clay, I think it's time for you to go. Ashton. Whether you want to believe it or not, I cared about you. Fuck, Ashton, I loved you. Just not the way you wanted me to. Lord, please, stop. <laughs> Congratulations for acting like an adult. I'm so happy that you agreed to do that. I'm so happy and, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Mason Hawkins. Is this really you? It's Maybe me. Maybe it's this love bug with Jesus that got me really soft. Uh, soft? You're the one with the ring that didn't mean a thing, but <laughs> not going to go there. Uh, no, I, I'm i trying a different approach. and I like it. It makes you much more attractive. But just a couple weeks ago, you were... You wanted my husband's head by any means necessary. You Not keep on using that. this word husband too loosely. It's an arrangement. Calm down. I don't want to I don't, I don't want us to go back over. Can I finish? Stop doing your little sly comments, Eve. Okay, can I finish? Continue. Not only did you want my husband's head by any means necessary, but you accused me of taking his side. And before that, then I know, then I've been all that, you pushed me out your house and slammed the door in my face. Eve. Rude. It was very rude. Just as rude as you to marry him. Like, what's the point? Like, what about your son, JJ? What, 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 what about my son? Eve, you don't think that it's pretty backwards of you to bring your son into the midst of all this chaos? You're marrying a man just so that you can get at Miss Sting and her henchmen? This has nothing to do with Bob. It has nothing to do with Bob. It's about me getting my life back in order that I can have my son back. I don't want any of this. 
But listen, I'm dealing, I'm, the cause that's been dealt with me, the cause that has, the cause that I'm being dealt with, look, I did not come into this. The cause that I'm being dealt with, I'm, I'm dealing with them the best way I know how. And I have, I have to marry um, my husband to make the situation better. The situation better? Yes. How is it making it better? Is this like a calculated marriage? Like, what's your grand strategy? What do you mean? Listen, I didn't have any money. She took my company. Oh, right, you know what? Let's not go back to a negative place. Like, Please, because I didn't not. invite you here for that. I chose to come here because I actually miss you. I appreciate you coming here. All right, so let's, let's stop. Like, just stop. We can call it the truth. Okay. We're not best friends. We have a long way to go before we get there. You didn't give a fuck about me. You knew Derek shot me and you still let me sit in jail. So you know your best friend did it. My ex-best friend. And he's just as dead in me as you are. I knew you didn't shoot me. But they kept me from you, baby. They kept me from telling the truth. <laughs> they kept me away from you, but I got away from them. I'm telling you the truth, Ashton. Stop it. Who is they? Fallon and Winston. You're lying. I'm lying? I don't have a reason to lie. Ashton, they had me at Fallon's house in the middle of fucking nowhere. I was confined to a fucking bed. I didn't have no Wi-Fi, no cell phone, no computer, nothing. I was helpless. And you really expect me to believe your big ass was helpless? I was in a fucking wheelchair! They had me in that fucking house. And they kept me from you. Well, look. None of this stuff is gonna work on me now because I know the truth. So all those games. The truth. What truth is that? Huh? Where's this fucking truth? You believe him? Did he tell you how he fucking drugged me? Did he tell you how he fucking sexually violated me? Hmm? The Winston, truth. Winston would never, that Winston would never touch you. It's on tape. It's on fucking video. Ask him to show it to you. Well, look, I'm not budging, so. They fucking show this video to the members of the board to get me out of the company. To get me out of the company. This is a game. This is a game to Winston and Dora the Ball, baby. Ashton. And I think it's time for you to leave. Ashton. Winston was a fucking upgrade. And it turns out that nigga is just like me. Yeah. And you can't take it. So it's cool. I'll leave. But you'll see. wanted things to be better for Jesus. I was worried about him. And the last thing that I wanted was something that happened to him behind me and his father going toe to toe. Oh, okay. I've noticed Jesus. I've noticed something, but I couldn't put my fingers on it. That he is something changed and it's for the good. I just thought thought that it was just Victor Lazo. Stop bothering me. I've been angry. It's I you. mean, it's me and probably a combination of this Aunt Vicky. Wait, oh gosh. I mean, Jesus talks very highly of her and like says that she's very nice and all he does is Aunt Vicky this and Aunt Vicky this and Vicky, As he Vicky, should. Vicky. That's his aunt. Am I detecting shade? It's You don't like it? I mean, it's your sister-in-law, Miss DeLuca. You have to deal with her now. Listen, I 
I don't really know too much about her. All I know is that's just her sister. And since she's been here, she's been really mean to me. So the fact that I'm dealing with everyone else in Easton attacking me, and then I have to deal with his sister. Here goes Eve playing the victim. Playing the victim? The Academy Award goes to <laughs> Eve DeLuca. I don't even like how that sounds. Well, listen, this, this design and condition needs to go back to Hoboken where she's from. She's not wanted around her. My son will not be around her, and Victor knows this. Now, that's the shade. How is your son, by the way? He's fine. I miss my baby so much. I just want him here. And Victor wants me. Victor's been trying to get me to get him here. Hey, 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 hold up. Pump the brakes. It's bad enough that you are involved in all this chaos. Do not bring JJ into this. Why would you want to bring your son to Easton with all this bullshit? Well, we, well, the plan is when he comes here, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave and go to um, California. Okay. I'm going to lie. I'm going to love. California? I'm going to love this island called Tyson, right off the port or the California coast. And I'm going to be here. So you're running again. Running again? Eve. I'm doing what's best for my child. Eve, you don't have a child. I told Eve, you this lower before. your voice. I'm not your child. And you don't have a child. You tell me how to child. raise a child. Excuse me. Are we going to go backwards or are we going to go forward? Because okay, okay, you're kind of defensive right now. You know, I'm, I've, I've always been this way. I just don't think that you should bring JJ to Easton with all this nonsense. Just go visit him more. I think, I have, my son has not been with me for a long time. I don't want him to think that I abandoned him. Eve, I'm sure your son's not going to think that you abandoned him. But, go visit him. Get away from Easton, but not run into California. What is that going to do? It's not like I'm just leaving my son. I'm taking my son and going with me. Okay, so, you don't want me to be with Victor. And I'm planning to take my son and leave. So what do you want me to do? You want me to stay here with Victor? Or, I mean, help me understand what, like, what's Listen, going on. whatever you decide, I'm going to support you, best friend. Thank you. Cheers. To new friendships, new beginnings. And new relationships. <laughs> I don't think you need any more relationships, Miss DeLuca. Mm-hmm. Where's the ring at? You're not even wearing it today. I can't. <laughs> it's kind of, I've lost weight, so, you know, um, it, yeah, it kind of just falls off. Eve, <laughs> I'm out of here. I have to go meet my boyfriend. Where is he? Your stepson. I know, I love, I love, I love him. Oh, Jesus. I can't. You're my stepson and my best friend. Oh, oh. oh thank you. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Luca. Right. You always trying it. Tell Jesus I said call me. Bye. What's wrong? Um Clint was here. Clint? Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Like, Clint? Clint? Yeah, we, uh, we talked. Well, actually, he did most of the talking. And, um, it was actually about you. <laughs> about me? Why would Clint be discussing me to you? Does he know about us? I mean, I guess, apparently. The thing about it is, it wasn't really about us, per se. He basically had a lot to say about what you did to him this past summer. I mean, according to him, you and Fallon confined him into a house? Is that true? No, he was not confided to a house. He was on bed rest, and he was being very well taken care of. So why would you take him out of the hospital? <laughs> because that's what Fallon wanted. Well, she made it seem like she didn't want anybody to find him. I mean, he made it seem like he was a prisoner. A prisoner? That man deserves to rot in a jail for everything he's done to Fallon, you, and everyone else in this town. 
look, I really don't care about any of that stuff. But the next thing he said really struck me. Look, Winston, be honest with me. Did you know the whole time that I didn't shoot Clint? No. Fallon found you standing over his body. I believe her like everybody else. Well, <laughs> Clint said he knew that I didn't shoot him the whole time. And he said he made it very clear to you and Fallon that I was innocent. Clint is a liar. Now, are you sure that Clint didn't tell Fallon and then she just kept it from you? Listen, I'm positive because Fallon would have told me. I'm sure of that. Clint's trying to play you. Wait, so what are you trying to say? I'm gullible or something? I didn't say that. But you're sitting here questioning me from a man whose word has no credibility. So look, maybe... Fallon didn't tell you because she wanted payback. I mean, you know her better than anybody else. It's possible, yes, but it's not the case because I would have found out. But that's the thing, like, I could have got over that, but the next thing he told me just, it just struck me some kind of way. And what was that? So apparently there is some kind of video with you having sex with please tell me this is not true yes there is a tape no we did not have sex what please explain this to me Fallon wanted to get rid of Clint she wanted him out of the company so, we came up with a plan, we made a tape. Listen, there was no real sex, it was all implied. Wait, so did you drug Clint? Hello? Yes, and it wasn't my proudest moment, but we had to do what we had to do. So basically, Fallon pimped your ass out. That's basically what you're telling me. Listen, I was doing my job, Ashton. Still wear that perfume all that time. Wife. You don't miss me. I mean, after all this time. I was doing my job, Ashton. It's the same thing that I would have done for you. Don't compare me to that bitch. The difference between me and Fallon that I would never sell my soul for payback. Listen, this is my damn job. I know what I signed up for. And this is my life. I'll go from one fucked up situation to the next. Or am I still the heartless husband you love to hate, baby? In order to have a heart, Clint, you must first have a soul and something you don't possess. Really? This beating thing in my chest says otherwise, my love. Clint, cobras have hearts too, but they're cold blood. And they will paralyze your ass the moment you're not paying attention. You know what? Why'd you even come back? Where's the fun? And stay on, baby. Just when I got settled in, here you come, showing up, showing your ugly ass fucking face. <laughs> this is the same face you married and let slide up in your bed. The same face you let fuck you over and over and 
over again. That's Remember? how I know you're a gay man, because you know nothing about women. We right. are the queens of faking it. And besides, you wasn't that good anyway. <laughs> Bullshit, Fallon. You practically begged me to blow your back out, baby. Remember? Take a tip. No <laughs> <laughs> funny. You just sit here and wallow in your grand delusions of what happened. But you're not going to do it on my time like this week. You can leave, but you will never get rid of me, my love. I'll follow you wherever you go, baby. All around this world if I have to. Go. You know what? Then I'll stay. Because you're going to do this with what means. You have nothing. You have no money. And I know these things because I saw to it. And that shit makes you feel good, huh, family? <laughs> it makes you feel good to say that. I sleep well at night. Knowing that you have nothing. The money and the power that you try to possess. For me, you're sitting there broke, withered, powerless, finished. So what? Clint comes and tells you a few things? Ashton, we're beyond that. We're not beyond that. What do you mean? I just found out these things. It's like I come in and I try to be happy and then something else just happens. Look, maybe, maybe the car is just not in my favor. What are you trying to say? I mean, look, I'm just sick of everything and everybody. To be honest with you, when I got out of jail, I should have just took a little bit of shit that I had and moved away and never came back. First, Clint lied to me, and then my best friend betrays me. And then you? You know what, Ashton? It's very clear that you're not going to hear anything I have to say. I'm going to give you some space, and we'll talk later. I'll call you tomorrow. Whatever, one second. You know, you are so pathetic. You mean to tell me after all that man's done to you, he still has you wrapped around your finger? Aston, you're a fucking fool. I thought you were stronger than this. I am. Hell, I thought we were. You know what, Winston, I am. Mm -hmm. And you want to know what? Bringing up the past has nothing to do with what's going on right now. It has everything to do with what's going on right now. Do you even hear yourself? You know what? What you won't do is try to bring this back on me. The thing is, everybody knows Clint is an asshole, but you know what? He owns up to it. Oh. Oh, so he gets a pass. No. Oh. That's it. He gets the fucking Nobel Prize for morality. Look, uh, this is not funny right now, what's that? No, it's not. This is utter bullshit, and you know it. I don't know what to believe right now. I mean, I'm just going for a loop. I think I know one thing, and then... Have I ever lied to you about who I am? I don't know. Honestly, I'm just tired. I'm tired. It's like I want to be happy, and then I want to believe you. And then I think back to when we were at that fountain, and I just believe this is all just a product of my just bad judgment, and I just... Ashton, when we were at that fountain, I also told you I love you. And I meant every word of it. Look, do you have any more secrets? Because just let me know right now. No. I swear. All right, I mean, look. <laughs> Can I be honest with you, Winston? I really didn't want this. I mean, I just felt like I was just talked into it and I just gotta rethink a lot of stuff over it. Are, are you willing to just throw your feelings away? No, this is killing me too.
Listen, let me make myself clear. Look at me. What I did for Fallon was what she asked me to do, and that's it. As it relates to Clint, had he been honest and said you were innocent, I would have been there myself to bail you out. Yeah, right. I thought you were going to be the one for me, and I wanted this to be real and fall in love, but at this point, I don't know, Winston, it's like I want to go with my heart, but I just got to go with my head. Well, Ashton, when you decide to start using your heart again, give me a call. Winston, wait. You know what, wife? As your husband, I think I'm entitled to just about Half. Really? Half of everything you own. That thing's the also time I finally claim it, baby. Clint, the court system will last you out of the damn building. Are you sure about that, baby? <laughs> You're nothing but a closeted sociopath. Look at you, sitting there all alone. Not even a fag you fuck to stand in by your side. I see why your parents didn't want your ass. You're nothing but an epic failure. And they were right. What? You're a loser. What the fuck did you just say, baby? You heard what the fuck I said. Tell me. I, I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would. What's the matter, Clint? The truth See, hurts? I tried to be nice, baby. Really? I did. I, you, don't like, you don't like nice Clint. You don't like me that way. <laughs> you should know me by now. And you should definitely know me, baby. Yeah. You should remember that I'm a ruthless ass motherfucker who always gets what he wants. See, sweetheart, I've been running this game so much longer than you fucking realize. It's crazy. And I let you think you was the prize. See, Fallon fucking you was just another job for me, baby. I should have pulled the plug when I had the chance. <laughs> because of me, but you're still breathing, bitch. Don't you ever forget that. <laughs> Fallon, I'm done. Really? Let this be a fucking warning. You're going to need all the protection you can find to get rid of me, my love. <laughs> You're psychotic. <laughs> You're really psychotic. I'm fucking serious, too, baby. Mm -hmm. But hey, that's married life, right? I mean, who said married life wasn't grand, huh? <laughs> so, cheers to you, bitch. Winston, Winston, Winston. Are you comfortable? Well, aren't you gonna say something, Winston? Hmm? I mean, surely a man such as yourself is never at a loss for words, Winston. The moment you untie me, Clint, you're a fucking dead man. <laughs> Your life is in my hands, Winston. And you still got the fucking balls to threaten me. I could fucking choke the life out of your scrawny ass body right now. Untie me. And let's see who the real man is. Or are you afraid that I'll get the upper hand, Clint? <laughs> Seems to be the trend. Nah, Winston. 
I just like you better this way. <laughs> so, Winston. Let me ask you a question. Was it curiosity, Winston? Hmm? I mean, you had to see was the ass really that good, huh? I want you to know I'm going to enjoy every single moment of this. I want you to consider this an eye for an eye for every fucking thing you fucking did to me. <laughs> and I would do it all again. You know why, Clint? Because you're a very weak man and you're showing that right now. You never could. Shut the fuck up, Winston. I will choke the last breath out of your scrummy ass by you right now. <laughs> What's wrong, Clint? Is this bothering you? Are you realizing how pitiful of a fucking man you are in your situation? Didn't I say shut the fuck up? Huh? You thought I was playing, Winston? <laughs> fucking end you right now. You don't have the fucking balls. No? <sighs> You fuck me. Mm-hmm. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I should actually fuck you, Winston. After you fucking violated me. Hmm? Let me ask you a question. Who do you think Ashton likes more? <laughs> How about this? You let me <laughs> open you up, Winston. You can be my bottom bitch tonight. Get your fucking hands off of me! Ooh. Get your fucking hands off of me! I bet that hold is nice and tight, Winston. Hmm? I got an idea. How about I bring Ashton in here and he can watch me fuck? <laughs> Where is he? None of your <laughs> fucking bitches. You so fucking mad, huh? How's it feel, Winston? How does it feel? Tell me, please. You don't like it? No? You're just as weak as you've always been, Clint. <laughs> Look at you, back on your feet, huh? Oh, yeah. You managed to get on your feet, but you had to tie me up to beat me, right? I just want you to stay still, baby. I want you to feel this. And sometimes, the best way to get your attention is to lay you down, Winston. And you know what? It's time to put you down. I'm so tired, Winston. I am tired. Just fucking kill me already. Be careful what you ask for, Winston. As a matter of fact, I'm so glad you said that. So you tell me one step. Make a choice. What's it gonna be? The messy sword or the quiet syringe? What the fuck is in that syringe, Clint? Oh. Does the syringe scare you? Are you scared of needles, one step? <laughs> I got you. Mm. Oh, Winston, Winston. Get off. Don't fight it. I promise you. Once I put the tip in, it won't even hurt. <laughs> no. <sighs> yeah. Baby. 
Hallo, get the bed. Yeah. <laughs>